So again, like I said, um, I was conflicted, including Cassilius on this. Who the hell is Cassilius? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Yes. Doctor Strange, villain. Oh, yeah, that guy. Now he's a villain, right? You're talking about Cassilius, the, the British black dude, right? Or Cassilius, the actual... What? Cassilius is the main bad bad guy in Doctor Strange, the first one, right? Yeah. Mads, oh, that's him? Mads Mikkelsen, yeah. Um, wait, wait, what what black dude were you talking about? Oh, I the guy that's uh he starts he becomes evil at the end. He's he takes that uh Mordo? One dude that the one dude that's in uh Miss Congeniality, that guy? Mordo. Yeah, Mordo. Yeah, he was all he's all he takes that guy. He's also in uh, that, uh Modern Family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I I use my reference, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, boy you're pumped yeah but dude we need to we need to discuss before we dive in bro i've watched i watched mortal kombat annihilation i watched mortal kombat 1995 <laughs> oh no i've watched blood sport i've watched did you know there's mortal a web kombat series versus the back a monster? few years ago mortal kombat did you, did versus you know the that there... monster the CW or WB or something they they had a uh, a web series. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's terrible. But anyway, <laughs> it's bad. I think it's slightly better than Annihilation just because of the upgraded you know CGI and whatever. Okay. But oh my gosh, Annihilation is the cringiest of cringe. I can't. I couldn't watch it. <sighs> Motor or Mortal? What's his name? Motor. He looks. Motaro. Shiva and Motaro. There you go. I don't know why I said Mortor. But you know. The uh, one Shao ring Khan to rule them all. Oh, oh, one ring to rule them all. <laughs> yeah. Heroes become legend. Legend became myth. Um, <laughs> I mean, even Christopher Lambert didn't want to do that movie, so. Um... They replaced him with that dude that's the porn star from The Girl Next Door. Ugh, terrible. That dude. Wasn't he also like the dad in that uh, that CW movie or not movie that CW show with the with the bunny rabbit? What? <laughs> no, no, you're thinking of the president in Iron Man three. No. Okay, we're not going back there. <laughs> The naked no, you're thinking about from the, uh, the from president Die from Two. Independence Day. You're talking about the president. They're from not all Day. presidents, <laughs> <laughs> but the actors look the same, kind of in a way. Lone Star. Lone Star. Lone Star. Is he the greatest president uh, in sci-fi movies on screen? No, Danny Glover in uh, 2012 was pretty good. Okay. Fair. Nah, he, he did a good job. It's it's not you can't do you can't do that. It's not the same. And he That's flew an he flew an F sixteen. Oh, Harrison Ford. That's a pretty good president. <laughs> Get off my plane. Get off my plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, who else is a good president? I guess top five presidents. Here we go. Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do top five presidents in movies. Let's go. Morgan Freeman. Uh Morgan Freeman. Oh yeah, he was. He was the president. Wait, no. Yeah, he was the president. Oh, yeah, Morgan Freeman in, uh, in uh, Deep Impact. Deep Impact. Yep. The other. Uh... The other Armageddon movie. Yeah, the other Armageddon movie. <laughs> I mean, really, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be able to log into my La Computadora. Is that how you say it? Spanish for the computer. <laughs> Oh my gosh. El Nino, Spanish for <laughs> the Nino. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Chris Farley. What was I say? What movie is that from? Oh, that's no, that's from Saturday Night Live. The Nino. <laughs> El Nino, Spanish for the Nino. All right. Well, it looks like we're running. Tommy smoothly. Boy or Black Sheep? 
Oh, man. God, they're so good, right? I think Tommy Boy just because it came out first, but man, they're so both of them are good. I'll agree with you there. They're, um, they're I really, good. I really liked, I really liked Black Sheep a lot, but Tommy Boy is just it's unassailable to be honest. There's so many. Do you remember we it. watched Black Sheep at the uh, Montgomery Ward Theater, or not the theater? It's called some. It was called something else, but we watched it for like a dollar. Oh, the United Artists Theater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, the, are, you, the, are you talking no, about the no, Dollar right. Theater? The Dollar Theater in Mesquite. Near <laughs> Montgomery Ward. Do they have Dollar that, Theater? That showed U.S. Marshals and the Barney movie for for decades. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> U.S. Marshals. We watched U.S. Robert Marshals Downey twice. R- R- Robert Downey Jr. Tommy Lee Jones. It's I got, don't it's care. It's got two uh, former uh, Marvel people in there and Blade. And the guy, and the bad guy from uh, Matrix, who turned bad guy. Oh, Joe Pantoliano. Yeah, he's the guy from Daredevil, <laughs> who's a reporter. Yeah, I pulled that reference. <laughs> the guy from Baby's Day Out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Man, I, he was in The Fugitive as well. Yeah, oh yeah. I think the whole team from The Fugitive was freaking in U.S. US Marshals. Please tell Sam Gerard I'm done. I'm going on vacation. He was also in Bad Boys. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was the police He's chief. the captain. Or he's the chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I've literally only watched that trilogy within the last six months. I haven't months. even seen the third one. We watched, like, remember, I, I don't know if I was who. Yeah, I was talking remember to you about this. who um, you are. Mm-hmm. I had never watched the first. Like, even Shelly was like, you know, oh, my God, you never watched the first two Bad Boys? I'm like, no. Like, I was busy watching Mortal Kombat at the time. <laughs> I had to, like, yeah. go back and look, and I'm like, what movies was I watching back then? Independence Day, Mortal Kombat. Um, Dumb and Dumber. What else? Godzilla, Dumb and Dumber. Godzilla was later in the year, but. Yeah. Um, what else? Tommy Boy. I don't know. All right, you ready to kick this What'd thing off? What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> Let's kick this thing off. Come on. Let's do it. Hey, everybody. This is the Movie Review. Two brothers putting their brotherly spin on movies of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. My name is Charlie. I am one of your hosts and my other host with the most, Roast. It's my brother, Josh. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, brother? I'm uh, ready to uh, finish him. Oh, nice. Animality. (laughs) so to speak <laughs> that's brutal sir um <laughs> we're all here about friendships instead no so yeah tonight's uh, episode we're this is episode six by the way uh tonight's episode is uh titled holy shang chi we are... oh yeah that <laughs> <laughs> but, golly so much there's karate chopping i'm telling holy you man <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of karate chopping but before we get into that um, yes, I am Charlie. I'm at Charizar81. You can reach me at Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, follow me, like me, subscribe to me if you want. That would be awesome and great for you to do. And my brother, Josh Shizzle 2323 he is at Twitch streaming some hellacious, awesome Hitman 3. He's also the proprietor of our YouTube channel, Josh Shizzle 2323 Please like and subscribe and follow. Um... Also, he's on the Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, brother, we got a lot. We're got, we have a lot that we've got in store um, on the talks today. Gosh, uh, we got our first top five face off, which I think is going to be kick ass. Um, obviously, we have our Hollywood birthdays and your segment. Who said what? But man, so. I'm trying to decide whether I just want to just dive in head first into all this stuff. I mean, obviously when news broke earlier on this week, um, 
I was texting you immediately. I didn't know if you had even heard that this had released yet. Um, the Shang which? the Shang Chi trailer, which yeah, I appreciate apparently, you letting me know. I I'm usually on this on top of this, and but, apparently uh, Kevin Feige pronounces it Shang Chi, and I'm like, I don't care, whatever you want to call it, like, it, it yeah. So you didn't. I guess he wanted some sort of a feng shui. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um. <laughs> no, like so. Yeah, I guess this wasn't even on your radar, was it? No. Um. I know it was coming out soon. I didn't know it was this year. I just. Kept, I just didn't. Because we're so busy with you know Falcon and that. What's that? Other show that came before it, it wasn't that good. Oh, oh WandaVision. Oh my gosh, and then, just uh, go, just, no, just, <laughs> just gonna blow you up right then, now, sir. Look, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I liked it up until episode, <laughs> t- up until after episode six. But anyway, um, yeah, we had the Falcon Winter Soldier, which is fantastic. Big finale tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, we've got Loki, so we feel like I'm jam-packed. And then you've got Black Widow. I totally forgot, there's a fall season, baby. You got Shang-Chi, shang Shui. Feng Shui, whatever you want to call them. But I watched that trailer a couple times, and uh, I remember watching the, I think it was last year, they came out with some footage, like practice footage of him fighting. Mm -hmm. I was excited then. I'm even more excited now. It looks like the movie's pretty much done, ready to go. So. Yeah, I mean, I was really, really hesitant regarding this movie because obviously with COVID, everything had been pushed back. And when you look at what MCU was wanting to put out in 2021, Gosh, especially with everybody's hands on social media and trying to figure out, you know, and make breaking news regarding like, oh, here's here's the latest shot for this movie. You know, th- this is how far they are in production here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we're really, really in the dark when it comes to the progress of these movies, how far they've come along. And when I saw Shang-Chi on the 2021 docket, I was kind of like, OK. They're putting it there. They're, they're, you know, they're kind of like, it's like a placeholder for them. And then mm-hmm. they're going to delay it. It's just, it's inevitable. It, it seems like everything's been delayed. You know, why I'm not like this one be? Yeah. You know, like he's still waiting on his chair and he's just going to delay everything. You know, eventually he'll inevitable. just have to take it, you know, take care of it for himself. But um, well, let me ask you this, Cheeto. I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're fine. Ask you this. Do you think MCU's putting out too much? I'm kind of scared they are. Um, Ooh. Don't get me wrong. Like, give it all to me, like, all at once, my heart. all now. <laughs> Giggity. But oh, at the heart. same time, <laughs> their pacing had been almost perfect um, leading up to um, the events of Endgame where, you know, they would release things, you know, maybe two or three um, properties a year, and it just – it. it it fed into that hunger that you wanted to see the next one as soon as possible um, with the Disney plus shows being so successful as they have been so far. Um, it's just seems like it's turned from like, okay, we're going to um, hit some pot shots here and there to rapid fire relay coming out in 2021, which again, like I said, give it all to me all at once, but I'm kind of, you know, again, I'm hesitantly, you know, cautiously optimistic about stuff just being thrown at me because I'm I'm always fearing that, you know, while I love the MCU, I love the fact that I'm seeing all my comic books, my comic book characters, my comic book stories, et cetera, displayed in splendor on the big screen and, and small screen. Um, I'm afraid that, you know, there's going to be this quote unquote deadening effect where it's just so much all at once and then the 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 layman kind of person who's just like a casual viewer of it will tend will get tired of it you know what i mean um it's like there's too much of a good thing uh sometimes um i don't know like i hope i'm dead set wrong at that to be honest um because honestly i'm looking at the show landscape right now and there's not too much going on i need to take this sweater off i'm getting hot just talking about the mcu you know why they're doing that by the way <laughs> if i may rebuttal or no yeah go ahead yeah i don't know no, however you want to call it whatever you want to call it yeah well Respond one to that covid pandemic mm-hmm. they had the move of movies right movie yeah. theaters closed one two i think they're taking advantage of the lack of hollywood's uh, productions 
So they're trying to be the face of, here's all the entertainment. This is what you're going to get. There's oh, not a sure. lot of stuff coming out uh, besides HBO Max releasing all their movies there. Other than that, what do you really have besides MCU, Disney Plus stuff? By the way, if I may take a side 30 seconds, Big Shot with John Stamos on Disney Plus, I think it's a pretty good show. But anyway, <laughs> okay. uh, I, I like it. I, I've watched the first episode twice. I'm waiting for episode two. Um, but yeah, anyway, maybe we could do a separate show on that one. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm just kidding. Dude, we got, pl- I mean. I, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. It's really PG. But anyway, going back to Shang-Chi and the MCU, I just think that they're taking advantage of the lack of stuff getting out there for entertainment. And they're just putting it all out there. I think, I kind of agree with you, but I I want it all. But I am worried about that that mainstream, you know, movie goer, whatever the case may be, uh, uh, the lack of, uh, of interest there. But will Shang-Chi do Captain Marvel mo- uh, numbers? Black Panther numbers, Endgame numbers, probably not. I'm thinking like Ant Man and the Wasp, Thor Dark World type of numbers. And it's it's hard to say because people are slowly but surely like, you know, sticking their heads out from their COVID hibernation and stuff like that. Um, I mean, you saw Godzilla and Kong figures. Four hundred million. Yeah, and like before Thank you, China. before like pre-covid that sounded like a like them just barely passing the mustard um obviously now like it's it's a huge boom compared to like you know zero box office dollars um i forget how much tenant was able to pull in during like the middle of everything because i remember it released um uh at the box office before shutdown yeah um Mm -hmm. i know sonic did really really well before it um but yeah like it's so hard to say like you know everything all the 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 um the numbers the 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 goals that people are setting for themselves have kind of reset along with like this pandemic um crisis that we've we've come across or whatever so who knows i mean like i mean it's it's definitely going to be one of them things where um it's it's a wait and see like what happens in three months like you know as more and more people get vaccinated as more poor people decide not to get vaccinated et cetera. Et cetera. i'm not going to go there but you mentioned um, goals by the way yeah hbo max met their goal they set for 2025 already months ago 2025 you just never know yeah they had a goal of I think 15 million or 150 million subscribers. I do apologize. I don't know, the, don't know the exact number. It's in like the one five area. I don't know if it's 150 or 50 million, but Damn. they've already hit over that. Over that. So that deserves an explosion. You just never know. You just, you just never know. So we'll see. Maybe Shang-Chi will be another one of those movies like, hey, cool, a fighting movie. Oh my gosh, it's an MCU movie? Cool. And that, so. I mean, that's the thing too, is that, you know, if it has the MCU brand, I think that it, it's going to be a magnetic draw, like almost automatically. Um, it already has a nice um, star player with Aquafina. A lot of people who are familiar with her movies and her brand of comedy are probably going to gravitate to see what she doles you, out in this movie. You told me your um, wife said, uh, "Hey, well, wait, look, it's Aquafina." Yeah, no, totally. Like you know, it, it, people who <laughs> I was like, "Who's that?" <laughs> yeah, no, people who don't normally like you know go readily out or like you know like you and me like we know the backstories of all these like you know B C level characters. It seems like um, they're going to want to go out and you know, I mean, and, uh, like you said, it's it's also MCU, like you said, MCU trying to capitalize on the fact that they're going to be the the leaders in putting out products out there that have been waiting to be released to the masses and you know with that being one of the highlight films to watch this year amongst the others good lord like i think um we have the eternals we have spider-man obviously we have black widow in july um yeah like it's really really hot and heavy i mean maybe okay so i i really I'm not trying to backtrack Uh-oh. here. My brother's complaining too much no. about too much coming. I'm no, well, and I said too much. I said just, I did say about a few minutes ago that too much was coming, but then all I really, really stated was about 
three movies. So maybe it's just the fact that it's being kind of pushed like all together, <laughs> push them together. Yeah. Um, pushed all together. You know why it feels in... overwhelming by the way? It's because the episode every week from the shows recently, WandaVision. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's a whole nother movie, which it is with the yeah. Falcon. I mean, 45 minutes of just pure gold to me anyway. Yeah. We, we, we will definitely talk about Falcon and winter soldier um, next week. Um, I've got to bounce some stuff off of you online, offline, because uh, I think like it, it's we can't wait very long once uh, episode six comes out. Um, probably when people see this, either we'll yes, either today night. or yesterday. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean seriously, these things are coming out so hot and heavy that like I I really want to like speak on it and talk on it as soon as possible. Um, and you know, hopefully hopefully have you, you know, talk about it and like upload it as well as soon as possible. But, um, (laughs) but, um, that's neither here nor there, but, um, tonight though, um, not to, uh, deviate too far from, um, our, um, our topic on hand. So yeah, the same, the Shang-Chi teaser was like everything I wanted in a teaser and more. It didn't really like really delve out too much of the story it gave like you know bullet point you know the high beats um it gave you the main characters it kind of gave you a clandestine mysterious character who like oh we know who they who these people are but you know if you're just like a lay lay person kind of like watching a movie trailer you're like oh who, who is this guy like who's this guy that's narrating the entire thing you know, like who's the one that you know raised him since he was ten to be an assassin, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought it's it was... Drago Junior. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, like, and there, and the the putting it Razor together fist, was great. Was great. Like, I hate those teaser and tra- and or trailers that put out, and you're like, okay, I've literally seen the entire movie. So, like, what will continue for me, like, to be pulled into a theater or to be pulled onto a channel or to a streaming service and continue to watch this. Cause I've technically watched the entire movie on a trailer. This tra- this teaser does not do that. You know, I'm glad it doesn't do that. Um, the action it jumps around, it, it jumps around and the action jumps around with it, which is awesome. The soundtrack for this thing is a banger. Like I am already like, there better be some Wu Tang clan up in this thing. Because, oh, mm-hmm. my God, I love that, you know, underground, you know, the new the new rap, like kind of like a mumble rap, if you want to call it. Um, it's, it's called that. You're fine. <laughs> I don't know. It's called mm-hmm, mm-hmm, rap to me. But um, no, like it like it, it, it hit all the marks for me. And I'm so ready for September to see that movie. The Iron Fist we wanted. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> crouching tiger MC. Can I? Cor- style. I am going to correct you so many times just for exactly what you just said there. Um, you know, for for those of you who you know new to the show, new to listening to us, new to watching to us, you know, my brother does not um, mesh words when it comes to his opinions of Netflix's Iron Fist series. Um, it's terrible. It's trash. I, mean, <laughs> I couldn't get through the first ten minutes. And you know, choreography is terrible, and people, all, all, everyone says that he can't fight. He can't. His choreography is trash. No, like, and I am a daredevil perfection. <laughs> and I am an apologist perfection when it comes to um, that series. But even I can't pull it out of the dregs of like, say, a Suicide it, it Squad or. Um, was it two seasons? Yeah, it was two seasons. God, I, mean, I feel bad for people wasting that time. Oh, it's just, you know, and it was one of those things where Netflix just hit gold with uh, Daredevil and then with Jessica J- Luke Cage, with Luke Cage was great. and then Jessica Jones came out and was Jessica like Jones fantastic. Is good. Um Punisher. Yeah. What was In what? Daredevil. I didn't I didn't watch Punisher the series. I can't say if it's good or bad. No, uh John Bernthal is awesome as the Punisher. Like he's one of the mainstays. John or um, from The Walking Dead. Yep, from The Walking Dead. Um, he did a fantastic job as um, Frank Castle, and I would love for him to come back, like you know, full full bore as the uh, 
as the Punisher again. Um, I'm trying to look up his name. God, my voice is starting to crack a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, Finn Jones. So Finn Jones was in uh, Game of Thrones, and they pulled him from that series onto Iron Fist. And, like, from my understanding, like, there was a lot of disconnect in his martial arts training, and that's what caused a lot of his, um, you know, like, choreography scenes to look pretty broken and, you know, very, very lackluster. A lot of the other, like, you see um, – uh, is it Charlie Day? God, I better get that right. Um, the Daredevil. Um, yes. He uh, Murdoch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt Murdoch. Yes. Um, ben Affleck. <laughs> well, a lot of his fight, fighting choreography. It's Charlie Cox. Charlie Day is from uh, Always Sunny. Gosh, Charlie Cox. Wow. Um, yeah. So a lot of his choreography, you see it like, you know, with the, the camera zoomed out a little bit. So you get to see his like full body of work. You can tell when someone, especially nowadays, when um, every um, fighting choreography p- set piece in any type of movie is picked apart by like martial artists and moviegoers and people who watch kung fu movies for a living, et cetera, et cetera. When they zoom in the camera a lot. That's when you know that, and there's a lot of cut, se- cut, cut scenes, um, right? <clears throat> lots of cuts within a scene. That's when you know that you know maybe the choreography is not up to snuff, and they're trying to like hide a lot of the um, imperfections that are you know inherently laid within when you're watching it, at, you know, at full speed. Um, again, he didn't have a lot of time to work on uh, mar- the martial artistry and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe those some fault through his scheduling because he was filming um, Game of Thrones at the same time. Maybe he like I've heard that he could be that actor was pretty difficult when it came to showing up for his uh, practices, etc. I don't know. There's a lot of like stuff that went into it. But like all in all, like, you know, you're right. Um, Iron Fist should have Excellent been else. so much better. Um, you know, we'll we'll discuss that further along as along as we go throughout the show. Um, but yeah, you got anything else to speak on the, the Shang Chi uh, teaser? Uh, his name is uh, Razor Fist Drago Junior. <laughs> he is the he is one of the villains. Well, you are help you are you are you are zoned in on on Drago Junior in this. Yeah. Yeah, like that dude, guy, that's huh? him, bro. He did a good job fighting Creed, too. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what he does in this movie. Um, he was I'm definitely curious what uh, his, uh, like, what's his background? What's you know, like, how is he going to speak and stuff like that? Yeah, no, I mean, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with in Creed too. I'd like to see how he imposes his will on um, the this kung fu master. Um, what we were going to have planned to do tonight was supposed to have been the Mortal Kombat movie re- review. I even stated that last week, which like kicks me in the head every time I think about it. Um, Cause I was like, well, if I just simply had checked the thing, I would have known that they had like delayed it by a week to the 23rd. And we would have, you know, I just wouldn't have stuck my foot in my mouth anyway. Which, which reminds me to ask you, do you think, and it's got to be the yes, do you think MCU, Marvel Studios, do you think they purposely put out Shang-Chi right now because of the movie Mortal Kombat coming out? There's, I think so. Well, there's several reasons um, uh, why they released it that day. And then Falcon's um, about to be over. Falcon's about to be over. Um, not to, uh, you know, a little pre- preemptive... Uh, birthday celebration but uh, they did release it on uh, Simu Liu's birthday um, he is the, oh, he the is Canadian the, actor what well, who are you talking about he's the yes he is the Canadian actor <laughs> he plays play he plays Shang Chi yes he is Shang Shui yes Feng Shui <laughs> <laughs> well I'm gonna get like I need to get my Mandarin going or whatever to you know get my verbiage all out correctly but yeah no um born april 19th 1989 
So he's 32 years old now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it happened to be the same day <laughs> that he was born. So that's kind of cool. Um, and you're also right. Like right before uh, Falcon Winter uh, Soldier is ending, which could, I don't want to encroach too much on Falcon Winter Soldier talk too much, but boy, we have been talking a lot about the power broker and there was a couple of scenes in that, um, Shang Chi, um, teaser that looked a lot like uh Madripoor. Like, I'm just like, mm, okay, I wonder, you know, there's a connection. <clears throat> like, so, so what I said earlier in a phone conversation with you Falcon can be at the end of Shang-Chi in a way of like uh, Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury was to Iron Man in Iron Man 1. <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to go like what you said. <laughs> let me I'm here, to, to, let me I'm here to talk about the Avengers Initiative uh, <laughs> again. <laughs> number two. Again. Number two. <laughs> which, which means again. No, I mean, well, that, kind that, of like in the comics, they say new Avengers now instead of or young Avengers or dark Avengers or I which, mean, by the way, I think that's going to happen. We'll talk about it after episode six. Yeah, that's yeah, that that that's coming uh, next week. Boy, we're going to be going these episodes hot and heavy. Um, So, yeah. Um, gosh, I, oh, my God, I'm lost my way. Hold on. Like Falcon flies in and then Shang-Chi's like punching a bag or some shit or like he's training. And he's like, and then Shang-Chi's like, I know you, you know, I'm here. And then the black screen, I'm like, Oh, if that happens, I'm going to, I'm going to be very happy. You're going to lose your S. <laughs> I, I predicted this. We recorded it. Episode six movie review. Go check it out. That's right. But man, speaking of losing your S, the MK opening seven minutes now i know that this is going to be completely futile this 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 conversation will be completely futile you know once the entire movie comes out I, i've already seen like people uh busting out with uh reviews on uh on other various youtube channels excuse me so right. they must have got a pre-screening for it but dude i'm i'm just the first seven minutes of this uh trailer i i I mean it's not even that's not the trailer it's the first seven minutes of the freaking movie um are just redonkulously like it hits mortal Kombat right on the head um literally (laughs) multiple times multiple times oh my gosh like i'm not kidding i'm like i'm really getting hot here um no like i'm already i'm like again, I'm counting the minutes down now to watching this thing. I'm like debating because, like, man, I gotta go to the man. office tomorrow. But Sub Zero is cold blooded, literally. Uh, you know, and okay, like, not to give away like any like spoilers or anything else, like you know, because I mean, obviously, the beginning of this um, movie starts off with what everyone knows. You know, S- Scorpion and Sub Zero have this weird feud between each other oh it's um, a feud that oh, uh, can, goes oof. back several generations and several several different you know movies and books and all that stuff but um yeah boy it, it gets really really visceral and it <laughs> there is even like watching it, because you know we're both dads now. I'm like, man, I don't know if don't don't go there. Please let that baby live. Like, please. Well, not even that. I mean, yeah, that kid. too. But like, yeah, that that was what I, like was gripping me because you know you know our sons are you know his age. Even like the kids, like you know, showing out like you know his little karate chop, and like Sub Zero's like, <laughs> really okay, uh, you know that's brave of you. You know it's, it is what it is. But, um, oh my gosh, like it's, it, it's, it's very good. Like, you know, that, I mean, it's what kind of allowed us to birth the topic of today's show, you know, the, you know, top five martial artists in Marvel and DC movie, you know, to date, but we're not going to go there yet. Um, God, I, I can't wait to see. How long is this movie? Do you know? I, 
I have no idea. I could probably look it up. I hope it's I hope it's not three hours, but I hope it's more than two hours. Oh, see, that that's the sense. thing is that uh, with movie, like I said, with movies that bring in multiple characters, I'm always afraid that the each character does not get their moment to shine. Like they're just kind of there, like as an addition to. Um, you kind of had oh, that wow. with Reptile in the f- original Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, I had plenty of Mortal Reptile. That was perfect. The music, no, the no. fight, I liked it. I was going to say, you kind of had that with Reptile until the moment happens where the reptile creature falls into the statue and then becomes the actual reptile. And you're like, okay, this is his moment to shine in the movie. Reptile. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, uh, that gives me goosebumps like, to this day. Yeah, like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm getting him right now. <laughs> no, I watched that scene by the way the other night. <laughs> I mean, that's why I brought him up. That's what that's what made me think of that. And like, so how long did you say the movie was again? Oh, I, don't, I, don't I thought you were gonna you know, look at. I said, I, <laughs> oh, oh, I can. Yeah, let's. let's yeah, just kind of. Uh, I said it I could. I said I could look it up, but uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Time, time duration time duration hour and 50 minutes so it's three minutes really? less than godzilla versus kong that's kind of mm, an hour and 50 minutes huh so we have an hour and 43 minutes left gosh that's <laughs> mm, i'm not gonna pass judgment yet because you know i don't it could be one of those instances where it yes could be it's perfection. an hour yeah as i say like there's sometimes a movie can't be too long um, it could be one of those instances where that you hour and 50 minutes long? feels like an eternity. What? You know what's too long? Annihilation. Oh, God. <laughs> that is just too long of a movie. It's, just, it's it's the cringiest movie I've ever seen in a, in a while. I can't believe you uh, watched that movie again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so bad. It's so bad. I was like, wow, they have all these characters everywhere. And they all look like shit. Oh my god! It's an, <laughs> and Mortal Kombat Annihilation is an hour and thirty five minutes. Yeah, it should have been. It got a, been, it, it got a two on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> a two out of a hundred, ladies and gentlemen. That's too too many. <laughs> oh my gosh! Anyway, gosh. it tried to be a video game before a movie. I think that's probably why. Let, let's uh, let's not go down that dark path of. Uh, least resistance there let's stick to like the 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 bright and awesomeness um so yeah again this little ditty bitty will be futile by the time um this comes to light but uh if you're live with us it's great but um we will be we'll be giving you our review of this movie next week um along with falcon Good, good lord. Oh, yeah. No, I, I told you, I need to talk to you offline um, about um, doing these about shows. That. Yeah, we will, we, we, we will, we will, we will talk offline um, about those two particular topics because, man, like, you know, it's, it's like, just like with this movie, I, I want to give each one their, you know, their respectable perspective due. And, um, you know, we'll see. Anyway. Tonight's topic, heck yes, we're going to be talking about the top five martial artists in all Marvel and DC movies. Yes, we are including the MCU, we're including Sony, Fox Properties, we're including stuff that was from the 90s, the 1990s. Um, we put the list together. Not the 1890s, though. <laughs> Not the 1890s. Um... Oops, that's not the right one. I don't want to put that one out. That's just, that's one of those things where I'm like, oh, I don't want to listen to that. Um, but yeah. So we put a list together. I mean, I, I put a list together. Um, my, I mean, my, you had the my, same list I did. My brother uh, spot checked me on um, who should belong <laughs> on this one. list and who shouldn't be. You know, well, you know, I might have, I literally just like started thinking up one night and I'm like, this guy and then this guy and then this guy oh yeah there's this guy oh yeah no, we can't forget this person or whatever and, da, 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 da. and I just kept going 
until I literally came up with a list of 30 people um, that uh, we have to whittle down to a list of five tonight. I have my own personal top five um, that I put aside as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to whittle this down to our consensus top five. And we're going to kind of like battle it out back and forth. So on this list of top martial artists for all Marvel and DC movies. You want to read them out? All right, got number one. One, one, one. Uh, I don't know why you started with this one. Daredevil. Well, again, this is not this is not in any order right now. Know, we are I going know. to order this as we I'm go kidding. along. Yeah. Number one on Charizard's list is going to be no. Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> number two, his teacher, Dick. Uh, let's see here. Nobu. I forgot who that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'll have to look that up in a little bit. I could have swore that was a Mortal Kombat uh, character. Iron Fist. That's not going to happen. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> oh, you hate man. Iron Fist. Yeah, man. He's great on the cartoon, but terrible in real life. Okay, Bl- Blade. Mm-hmm. Oh, Blade. That's just perfection right there. He's Ooh. on my top five already. Batman, oh. top five for sure. Katana from Mortal Kombat. No, I'm just kidding. Katana from Suicide Squad. Actually, uh, you've seen her recently. Very recently. Suicide Squad. Uh, Electra. You've seen her in her own movie. That was terrible. Also in the Ben Affleck version of Daredevil. Uh, she Hawkeye. was also in um, Daredevil on the. Oh, Netflix. yeah. She was in the, yeah, the newer Netflix ver- version. Mm-hmm. She was a bad guy. Uh, Hawkeye. Uh, Black Widow. Mm-hmm. Black Panther, that's a fantastic one. Killmonger, who is the... Uh... Hold on. Cousin? Yeah. In the MCU, right? <laughs> hey, auntie. Yeah, uh, Black Panther. <laughs> hey, auntie. Yeah, that's right. Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man, by the way? We're talking... Tobey Maguire. It's We're Spider-Man, talking... dude. Tom Holland. We're talking... Uh, Mordo. The ancient one. Oh man, that's a big one. Yeah, and that's... see, once I started going down this path, I was like, oh boy, there's some heavy hitters this way. That I was like, I'm not uh, sure if I should include them, but I'm like, they're martial artists, so. And then you got, and then you got Cachilius. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm friends yeah. with Mads Mikkelsen one day. And I could be like, he pronounced your name Cachilius. What does that mean? Uh, Captain America, Falcon, Winter Soldier, slash White Wolf now, White Tiger, Tiger Uppercut, um, Deadpool, <laughs> The Pool of the Dead, Wolverine, uh, yeah, he's Berserker, uh, Berserker Barrage. That Wolverine, I'm kind of, him. I'm, so again, with Wolverine... His path, his past is so ambiguous, but like when you saw the movie, the Wolverine, you know, when the, he had to go back to Japan, uh, and then he eventually fought silver samurai. That's what kind of thought brought to mind. Like, oh yeah, he has kind of been brought up, you know, but the ways of the samurai. Well, well, not only that, dude. I mean, he's how old? Like hundreds of years old. He's been through so many like wars and stuff. Like yeah. he's fought through every type of situation. Yeah. If you think about it, um, not just bar brawls and stuff like that from the original X Men from two thousand. Uh, Psylocke, he yeah. has a freaking sword. Yeah, Batrock definitely. Um, the actor and the character, <laughs> Ajax. Uh, the soap, I think. Uh, let's see here. Green Hornet. I hate you. <laughs> the soap. K- Kato. I thought that was Keto, like the diet. V from V for Vendetta. The guy who played... I'm so uh, glad Mr. you uh, that. Mr. From uh, <laughs> V from, I think, Street Fighter V. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, Green Arrow. I added that particular one. Oh, no, that's, that's great. Roz, Roz Al Ghul. Mm. Green Arrow, he wasn't. I mean, he has his own series called Arrow. He has his own Arrowverse, like universe on WB. Yeah. But he actually wasn't in any actual live action movie. But I put him in there because he is in several of those cartoon movies. Yeah. With Batman as Oliver as an old man. 
actually with one arm too. I forgot which movie that is, but it's an old man Batman fighting Superman, which is a pretty cool movie. Uh, Ra's al Ghul, I mean, he taught Batman that shit, you know what I mean? So, according to Batman Begins. So, you have to have Ra's al Ghul. Plus, it's Liam Neeson. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's I, all 30. I didn't know bigger. whether to include Robin from the Schumacher series. Cause he, you know like what I mean. DC, like Batman Forever. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we can we can put him on and then take 30. him right off. <laughs> uh, Chris O'Donnell, right? Yeah, Chris. I yeah. was just I was in my mind. I was like, oh yeah, I guess there was those series. Hmm. <laughs> but what's that wedding movie called with Chris O'Donnell? I, I, I mean, I've seen that movie so many times. It has nothing to do right with now. martial arts. Anyway, all right, so we're going to start whittling this down. Winning this is like a movie. really, really big list. I guess Iron Fist. White Tiger's off. Hold on, hold on. The Bachelor. Man, that is a good movie with uh, Renee Zellweger, or whatever her name is. Yeah, that was a good one. I had on DVD. It was one of my first DVDs. It's actually a really good movie. <laughs> off the list, we're going to go with White Tiger. So, yeah, I'll Iron Fist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah, we don't have Shang Chi on here, by the way. He's freaking. We talked about him. I'm not adding Shang Chi yet. Again, I'm. I'm. I was. I was. I've thought about that too, but my thought was like, I wanted Both to put times. people who are, who <laughs> are, it already established in the movie universe. You know, res, in their respective universes, whether it be DCEU, MCU, old uh, legacy Marvel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. Yeah, White Tiger can go off. Like she was okay. Um, she got her hers kind of like taken a little bit. Um, gosh, I almost want to go the inverse and start thinking of people that like. Okay, we can't not have oh, them in the Ajax, top five. The guy with the two axes. God, yeah, Deadpool. We yeah, could, no, we take could, him off. We could take him off. Like, Francis, he was just like, you know, he was more of a brawler than like a, a fighter. I just kind of remember him having some kind of moves in that final scene against Deadpool. Um, Batrock, we can take off because like, Captain America kind of owned him. Uh, take off Falcon and... Falcon, uh, huh? Yeah, I mean... He's in the he's in the military. He's got his fighter suit and stuff like that. I mean, it's not he's not no not, offense, Falcon. not true martial artist. He doesn't he doesn't yeah. he doesn't swing he with these heavy hitters. He holds his own, but sure. you know it's a different different thing. Okay. Um. Okay. So you took Falcon off. <clears throat> now it's starting to get tricky. Well, sure. Because I'm going through on the list now. I'll take V off. He's a superhuman, um, just through those experiments and stuff like that. But, um, you know, he's great with knives. Um, right. But when you're talking about pure, like, martial artists, like, he doesn't hang here. Like, he gets, obviously, a mention due to his uh, knife proficiency. But, um, you know, weapons aren't everything. Um... It's hard to start taking like some of these guys off. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's our list, folks. Twenty six. I know. No, now we're, we are uh, down to twenty six. <laughs> I mean, you could take you could take you could take Casilius off. Mm. Take off Robin. You just Here's my him. problem with taking Casilius off. There's like so many guys on here who I know that Casilius like that, and that's my process. Is like, do I take this person off now because I know that there's like ten other people who can be uh, taken off like who, who would they who what are you judging them on their power or their martial arts of both of actually using like okay. Robin can go like again that was like the oh do we just put them off take them off kind of thing and that's the okay. thing is like is Casillas mainly power or is like you know did he learn <clears throat> was he proficient at the arts of martial 
Yeah, it's all about that dark magic with him. Um, I mean, Winter Soldier's hard to take, too, because, I mean, he was a soldier. Assassin. He's not really an, he's not really a martial artist, though. Yeah, take him off. Like, oh, okay. We're just doing... <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Um, making the hard decision for me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like... I mean, you could, argue, you could argue Deadpool and Wolverine are not martial artists. They're just a guy with the two swords that heals. And Dude, then got Wolverine. Deadpool is more than just a guy with two swords that just heals. Like, okay, sorry, some of his moves pistols. are stupid. No, I know. I know, but... Let's keep Deadpool on there for now, I guess. And then, um... Psylocke can go. Um, yeah, we're, she's just a and see, chick with the sword. And I, I have to put this into into my brain that I'm thinking of mainly the movie versions of these. Because Psylocke oh, has yeah. mad skills in the comic book universe. And also in the video game. Oh, as well as the video game. Yes. But, uh, yeah, she, her kind of like, you know... The, I don't I don't like the way they uh, designed her or portrayed her in uh, Apocalypse. Um, hmm. Exact look though. So Iron Fist, we God, it's so hard to take Iron Fist off of this list. Even though, again, we are we these this is the li- these are the people from what we've seen on Netflix or on the movies. movies. So right. Iron Fist cannot be on this list. God no. Like, you know, we are sorry um, to that actor. We're not. But, I'm uh, not. I'm not. I know you're I'm not. Oh, I know you're not. <laughs> I never even watched Game of Thrones, so. Um, I'm one of two people that didn't see it. <laughs> uh, Kato, I don't even know the hell that is. Kato is the, um, he's like the sidekick to Green Hornet. I thought actually, oh. I thought Kato was even more ballsy than uh, Green Hornet. To be honest, like you know, Seth Rogen w- was pretty awesome in that role, but uh, you know, take him out. He's a brawler. He's not martial artist. Hold on a second. Green Hornet is sure underrated movie in my opinion. I really like that movie. The ancient one. Okay. Now, this is getting really difficult to kill these okay. people. I mean, so uh, to, uh, we're not killing them. List. So we're taking Green Take Hornet off. off. And Kato. Right? Oh, and Kato. Right or no? <clears throat> is Kato the Asian dude? Yes. Who's? Yes. Okay, Kato stays. <laughs> because he's Kato Asian? Stays God. <laughs> He's Asian, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Automatic. <laughs> He's in there. Golly. Oh, man. Okay, so Mordo is pretty boss. Man, this, this is going to hurt me to say this. Because this is not the fully realized character that I have. Get, get Mordo out of there. He hasn't done anything. Well, All he did was yell at Doctor Strange and beat the shit out of him. I mean, I... He had a pretty intense fight with Cassilius. Um and the uh, yeah, and the mindless ones, yeah, at the very end of that uh Doctor Strange. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, he's the still... one he's the one who wielded the uh the staff of the Living Tribunal. Come on. Oh yeah. Um Man. I think Mordo can take take out uh, a guy like Stick though. I mean, anyone could take out the stick. He's an old man. I'm going to get rid of Nobu because he was not very well represented. In, no, uh, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> no boo, boo, boo. No boo, boo. Great, um, great um, restaurant, but not a great. Uh... Oh, gosh, that's no boo? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He was mentioned in the Defenders. Yeah, mentioned. Okay, so right now we've got a list of (laughs) twenty. Jeez. That is Daredevil, Stick, Blade, Batman, Katana, Electra, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Black Panther, Killmonger, 
Then we have Spider-Man, Mordo, The Ancient One, Cassilius, Captain America, Deadpool, Wolverine, Kato from the Green Hornets movie, Green Arrow, and Ra's al Ghul. Are we talking about who's the most powerful? No, no, no. We're talking about like, like, who's closest to martial arts. I mean, it's got to be like an amalgamation of both. Like, you know, Oof. I mean, right. you can't, no. we can't. Like this, this is where it comes like ridiculously hard. Giggity. Because honestly, I think Captain America, there are five people that could wipe the floor with Green Arrow, in my opinion. At Man, least that's five. That's the Injustice version. Whew. Well, and see, that that's the Injustice version. Like, you know, like. No, I know. I it's, know. I just. Hard for me to let go. And there, there's there 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 are several renditions, and you know what? I'll, I'll this is gonna hurt me to say this. No, you better not freaking say it. I will slap you through the screen. <laughs> You're not gonna take Batman off. No, 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 no. I, I there are more than five people. That is my number one. There are more than five <laughs> people on here who could take the film version of Spider-Man out. Okay. Bye-bye, Spider-Man. Like, I'll, I'll, you know, stick my neck out there for him. Like, he's he's my honorable mention in my list of five because, you know, he is not, you know, this is not one of those comic booky things where, you know, he learns the way of the, the, the spider, which he learns, you know, his, the way he fights is called spider kung fu. Um... There's obviously been so there's been so many retcons to that story, but at the same time, the way he fights is through his spider sense. Um, no one can hit him, a spider. Which is my th- that there there therein lies your um, is this martial arts or is this pure power? Because if this were pure power, Spider Man would probably be on the list. I don't know if he could take out someone like the Ancient One. You know, I was about to say. Um. I almost think we need to start putting this. Okay, we have a list of 19. We need to like start highlighting people on this list who are just straight up Pardon. like, okay, they we are seriously cannot take them off, period. Like, you know, Batman, if you were ancient one. I will put Batman. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> Here, let's, uh, let's bold them. Hey, people out there watching, whether it's the uh, replay or right now, uh, Batman should be on the top five because it's Batman. He'll figure out a way to beat you. If he figure out a way to beat the Justice League, he will figure out a way to beat the fucking Avengers, okay? I'm sorry with the F-bomb, but still. And Batman, he's just an amazing fighter. And Batman is the smartest man in the DCEU universe. Like... No holds barred. Um, when it comes to strategy, when it comes to planning, when it comes to fighting, discipline, digging deep, etc., etc., you know, like he's had his back broken by Bane. He's come from that. Um, yeah, Batman would definitely be on there. He lost his parents. Yep. At a young age. <laughs> yep. I'm going to suggest, obviously, we put uh, Captain America on there. His superhuman serum obviously gives him a nice advantage, but at the same time... Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. You know, it's not before Captain America, it's... It is Captain America. Unfortunately, he does have 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 that, and the fact that he is the peak of human capacity to be able to have those reflexes, as well as have um, a shield, martial arts skills that were honestly given to him after in Winter Soldier when he took out uh, Batroc. Because at first, like, when I watched, you know, Captain America, the first Avenger, I was like, okay, he's just a brawler. He's a boxer. You know, it's one of those things. And then when I watched Winter Soldier, like, you want to talk about, like, someone who sat up in their chair. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I know Captain America is badass, but I didn't know he was, like, you know, kung fu badass, you know. Um, gosh. 
So you have Batman, the Ancient One, Captain America, and a whole bunch of other guys. <laughs> Take out Hawkeye, he's a glorified arrow dude, just like Green Arrow. He can fight like with anybody. If you take out Hawkeye, we got to take out Black Widow too. Because they seem to yeah. be right on par with each other when it comes to their abilities. Uh, Black Widow may Abilitized. be a step higher because higher, she's willing to do what others won't. Whatever it takes. But, Whatever um, it takes. You know. So we can take those two off. Electra can so go. Take, I don't know why she's still on. You take out Green Arrow, right? Yeah, Green Arrow can go. Like Bye -bye, again, Green Arrow. He was you, really, really good. Done so much for me in Injustice. <laughs> um, no, he, he's really, really impressive. Um, Stephen Amell is an awesome actor, too. So, um, sure. I loved his series. Um, Raz al Ghul, I mean, yeah, you can take him out. Okay. I I wasn't going to go that quick on Ra's al Ghul, but, you know, we are talking about uh, Batman Begins, Ra's al Ghul. He's not yes. the uh, the Lazarus Chamber, Ra's al Ghul crazy one from... Um, that animated series? Arkham City, yeah. Or the anime... Yeah, animated series as well, totally, yeah. Animaniacs, yep. And uh, maniacs. No, just kidding. <laughs> so now we're down to 15. <clears throat> okay, we got three bolded already. Man, I just, I hard for me to get, get rid of Stick. Why is he here? Get the <laughs> heck out of here. You yeah. Blind it's funny, man. like, <laughs> well, it's funny because we, we've taken out both of the, just now we've taken out both of the, teachers here and we've pure, left the students here martial artists <laughs> like you know it's hard for me i mean electra's coming I mean, back if electra from the goes, dead. katana goes i'm sorry sorry katana that's i know your sword that's wields sexist. the souls you strike <laughs> but you're out she's gonna cry to her dead husband in Deuces. the sword yeah she's gonna pull it out and say <laughs> something in Japanese I don't understand and then puts it up okay that's fair you know what they so, say about the crazy ones I mean it, uh -huh. you know to be fair to them you know Katana she's a sword wielding maniac when it comes to her abilities and prowess Elec I'm sure she can you know fight uh, no no she can uh, Electra like her abilities with the size are amazing and She's come back from the dead. That's nothing that that's nothing to just sneeze at. But I'll I'll agree with you there. Like Jennifer um, Gardner. I've literally not even paid attention to the movie. I'm I'm more thinking of the uh oh, the, Netflix, the, the Netflix. Uh, the, from keep, from Daredevil. I keep bringing up I, the bad one. Yeah, you keep bringing up the bad <laughs> one, dude. I'm like, "No, stop it." <laughs> um oh man. Uh -huh. Okay, we can take Kato off now. Bye, Kato. Yeah, Kato is ridiculously awesome. Mm -hmm. What? Not Keto. God. <laughs> um, not Kato, Kaden, Kalen. Kato, Kalen. Um, hey, Killmonger, you can you can say bye. He's a he's a he's a elite uh, military soldier. guy slash fighter slash good rate with weapons super tough um and then he gets that power of black panther and that purple flower you know he's not it's not martial arts i know they fight each other and that would mean i'd take off black panther but i don't want to get him get rid of him yet i'm still figuring this out yeah this, this is where it gets rough take out mordo why is he still in there <laughs> again like the reason mordo is in there is because he's learned under the ancient one his oh, ab his ability. Oh, that guy. Oh, I was thinking of uh, I was thinking of the other guy, uh, the Asian dude Wong? from Daredevil. Who? Ne Nobu. I was thinking of Nobu. No, Nobu's gone. Nobu left a yeah, long he's gone. time ago. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Mordo's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I see that you're keeping these Doctor Strange characters in there way too long, but I guess that's fine. I mean, well, the, Asian one's fine. That was my again. My, that was my 
quandary was when I brought that up and I was like, oh man, like we're going to like. Man, I see. Th- I already see the list. Oh, it's gonna be hard. Ooh, Daredevil Blade. Here, I'll take uh, I'll take Killmonger off. Like he went toe to toe with the King of Wakanda. Wakanda took him but out. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, we got ten. All right. <laughs> Alright, so top five will be Daredevil, Blade, Batman, H1, and Captain America. Oof. What do you think? Why'd you go silent? Hello? I just... <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> oh, man. It's so hard for me to take someone out who literally can, like, ridiculously heal himself instantaneously. Both of them. I know. They, Both I, of them. I keep looking at those two. Like Deadpool's in Deadpool's is um, Deadpool's healing ability is so much better too than Wolverine's though. But again, like my my are you sh- the movie version seems the opposite. It seems like it takes him forever to grow his hand back. When Wolverine, he gets cut up, it's immediately healing. Yeah, but Wolverine's never fully had his hand cut off. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it would grow back fairly quickly, not in the sense of how Does it grow back, it though? Grow. I mean, in, yeah, the does. Age like of the, hand. in the uh, Age of the Apocalypse, he didn't have his hand anymore. <laughs> Again, see, this is the problem. We're starting to think, like, it's starting You're to bleed of, over into the comics. No. <laughs> That's the comic slash um, the the animated series of X Men where they did show Wolverine with the one, but he still had his blade come out of his. Uh, did you see that? You've seen that. You saw the comic. Uh-huh, yeah, he no, had I his, have. Uh, his blades. Blades. Okay. <sighs> All right. Would Blade take Wolverine? Has he? Man. Can you imagine Deadpool and Blade fighting each other with both having two swords? Yeah. Who who would out talk each other? I'm talking Wesley Snipes, Blade <laughs> versus versus uh, what's his name? Uh, Ryan. What's his name? His freaking name. No, you're not. You, I hate when you do that. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. There you go. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Zucrest. Uh, search it. R- Ryan. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Um, oh man, see this is this is where it gets rough. Um, take out Mordo. I don't get and kick calculus or calculus <laughs> out of here. Casilius. Man, I hate to take out Daredevil. Man, Daredevil is pure. Okay, I will. I will remove Mordo and Casilius. I think. There you go. While. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Cecilius needs to go, man. He's about that dark magic, not about that martial arts thing. To me, he kept pulling out that invisible spike thing over, over and over again. Sure. Not martial arts. That's just magic. Okay. The gathering. You know what? That, that you convinced me that they are using more magics than actual. Uh... Yeah, that makes you think Ancient One, but Ancient One's like using like yeah, she is the way she actually fights with a fan. Yeah, like you know, I mean, she's trying to fight fire with fire when it comes to like using the dark magic against those. But she beats the crap out of you with actually like martial arts esque moves at the same time using her magic. All right, the gathering. Okay, we have come down to eight characters. And then there was eight. Daredevil, eight. Blade, eight Batman, ball. Black Panther, the Ancient One, Captain America, Deadpool, and Wolverine. Man, I'd almost I mean, hate to say it, but I think Blade might be the odd one out of all these guys. Really? You think Daredevil would beat the crap out of Blade? I think I think he would. He's a vampire, yes, but man, like Daredevil's like martial artistry is almost damn near second to none. Plus, he's, he's he's blind. Ben Affleck. <laughs> Stop Wesley using Snipes Ben Affleck. Affleck. 
<laughs> it's Charlie Cox, damn it. He's even going to oh. pee in the next Spider-Man movie. It's Charlie Cox. He's not there yet. You said no future movies. <laughs> no, but he's got his own series, so there you go. Uh, he's got two of them. Um, okay, so we're going to cross. Right, who would win in a fight? Batman, Ben Affleck. Batfleck. Or Daredevil, Ben Affleck. <laughs> I really Ooh. wish you'd get off of... Was it um, Affleck? Affleck devil or whatever you want to call him. Oh, man. Darefleck. Yeah, Darefleck. Dare, Dare Dareflek. <laughs> uh, it was a good movie. I saw it in theater. It was really good. I liked it. Michael Clark Duncan is the kingpin. You got Bullseye. Chris Chris Collins. Or what's his name? Chris, no, it's not even Chris Collinsworth. Hold on one second. What's his name? Uh, Chris Farrell. No, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Colin was way off. <laughs> so daredevil may have to leave man but he's pure he's pure martial arts he was raised that way black panther may have to go he may be just be one of those you know he fights like an animal type of thing right and no but the way he fought without his suit he fought um Winter Soldier in Civil War, the way he fights in the darkness in the jungle with those other guys, um, the way he fights um, Hawkeye in Civil War, uh, in game he ran most of the time. Um, <laughs> in Infinity War, he fought scratching these dog alien creatures. I don't think what else you could probably argue the kid take out Ben, ben Affleck I'm sorry Stop. Black, Black Panther <laughs> oh man you can take out Black Panther and Daredevil and then you have your top six right I don't I know just, what do you think I, I can't see this not without Black Panther okay like even if like I don't think he's the top I think that, you know, just out of, out of uh, respect to Chad Bozeman? Or? No, it's not even that. Just like, you know, oh. um, like the, the fight in at, at the casino and then his fight against um, Hawkeye and all the other guys in the airport. Yeah. Like um, the way he fought. Um, what's his name? The gorilla. Uh, the Gorilla Clan. What's his name? Um, gorilla. Is M'ba- it the Gorilla Clan? M- M'baku. Or something like that? Umbaku. 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 All right, so we'll, you're going to keep Black Panther on there, or are you just arguing the fact that he's going to be on the top six or seven? I mean... I would. I, you could take out Wolverine. He really isn't. Did Batman like, really arts. have any martial arts in any of these movies? Um, Batman Begins. Uh, the original Batman, where he's like hanging upside down. His... Oh, so you're talking about just the movie. We can't argue the fact he was like a pure martial artist in all the animated series as well as uh, the comics, right? Yeah. That, and that's Damn my man. that's my tr- that's my again my, that's my uh, controversy. You're my... gonna take out you're gonna take out Batman. No, I, again, I'm just I'm waiting the question. We've been dancing around that one name because we've already bolded it, and we like because we've talked the ancient. Do one. you we've not remember Captain when America. Ben Affleck was working out like, you know, before <laughs> Superman fight? When he was flipping tires. <laughs> he was flipping tires. Here's my deal. Here's my argument on that, real quick. Thirty seconds. Why the freak are you working out tiring the sh- crap out of yourself tearing your muscles when you're about to fight the strongest thing known to man on earth right now that makes no sense you have no chance you have no chance he's got to get the pump <laughs> all right whatever you know what i'm gonna do i'm taking wolverine off this list Oof. here's the reason one of your favorite comics here's the reason um he's probably your top three heroes when you're right? talking martial arts in the movie 
the big Rogue screen you. and the little. Oh, green. sorry. Wolverine does not show much of that. Yes, we know Besides through the comics. The we know through the mm. comics that he is pretty, you know, well um, averse of the well averse. That's not even the right word. Um, he's very intimated with martial artistry. However, in this movie universe, he doesn't go so far as that in he doesn't really really showcase that too much like yes like he's got the adamantium but when it comes to like actual mar- martial artistry there's not much of it he's gone that is uh, that was hard <laughs> and then there were seven all right. So, See, so, ba- so, so, Batman, the way he fights Catwoman and Batman Returns, yeah. Come on. The way he fights those clowns in that, like, uh, yeah. The, I guess no. it was the lighting up the tree. Wait, hold on. What was it? It was just some way, a whole bunch of chaos. He has to fight all these clowns everywhere that Penguin sends out. The way he fights them. Um, I'm, why am I concentrating on Batman Returns? There's more movies. Uh, oh, the, the original Batman. With Adam West, he the way he fights everybody. <laughs> the, Ow, the, bat, the bat Tusi. Um Yeah. No, like I'm 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 not trying to talk myself out of Batman, but I did want to put to light like, okay, we haven't discussed Batman at all in the proceedings because we've already just went ahead and blacked him out. Man, okay. Daredevil Blade. Batman, Black Panther, the ancient. Black Panther's a pure fighter, so I understand where you're coming from. Captain America, Deadpool. All right, so are they fighting each other now? Like, is this because Daredevil's going to get killed? Seeing that, like, there here's the problem I have with this is that I'm trying to decide between technique as well as their own physicality like daredevil like you you're right daredevil is the weakest of all of these guys i mean he'll hold his own by a if lot it's ben affleck versus ben affleck you know stop but... putting ben affleck as daredevil <laughs> 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 it's charlie cox damn it <laughs> um <laughs> You know what? I, I, I can live with Daredevil getting off this list because he, you know, while he is pretty proficient at martial arts, he does get taken out quite a bit, you know, and to his own detriment, the fact that he's blind, um, you know, while he doesn't make that, you know, a hindrance on himself, you know, it is it is a weak point. Um, and if you know, people around him can start to use, you know, obviously Captain America can find ways around, you know, going stealth underneath uh, the echo location that Daredevil uses. Um, Batman the same way. Um, Black Panther just through sheer strength would outdo Daredevil, to be honest. Yeah, I I think I've talked myself that daredevil you know it's a strong seventh place out of all these characters yes you can't see what i see in him huh oh my gosh (laughs) (laughs) all right then there was six holy crap uh well i mean so it boils down to i mean you had the argument about batman Oh man, uh, so Batman can pick up a sword and fight. You know that. <laughs> yeah. So we've already bolded Batman. Batman's bolded. Batman's probably not. Bolded. Batman's probably officially um, part of this list. Captain America is too. The ancient one is as well. Um, Deadpool's out. If you because you want to keep. Black Panther, right? Yeah. 
I think Deadpool uses more guns anyway. Well, I mean, no, he uses the swords, but he doesn't. He's using his swords as a way of chopping them away, and then he takes gunshots. So it's like he's not. I don't know. He just doesn't. I know in the comics, and I know even in the video game and stuff like that, it's just he's not he's not doing what Blade is doing. Blade is using kicking and the sword and fighting. You know what I mean? Deadpool is just like a funny breaking the fourth wall character that's slicing away and oh I forgot my guns type of character. I don't know. He just doesn't. He seems more of a target than he is an actual fighter, to be honest. I would say that without weapons. Deadpool becomes less of a because it seems like a lot of his abilities st- are are a branch onto his um, his weaponry like you said you know like he does a lot of those spin moves but along with those spin moves he's you know dodging oncoming fire while returning a fire backwards how oh, is how is yeah. he in close quarters combat with one of these other people? Um, yeah, Blade would. I mean, I know Blade doesn't have that. Well, he's a vampire, but Blade. I mean, he, Blade is a martial artist. Like you know, he does not need his sword. Um, Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Um, Marshall Ali. I cannot wait to see him as Blade. Yeah, he's got the perfect physique. Dude. Um I mean he's he he's, he's a is, great is, a great is Wesley Snipes gonna be the uh, Chris Christopherson of this of the uh, new Blade series. Yes. God I hope so. Okay, yeah. Okay, so fine. Deadpool's gone. So yeah, Dead, Deadpool's, Deadpool's gone. All right. You made sixth place. You made the runner up well, to the list. Well, it's either him or Wolverine. Um, <laughs> sure. So we have our top five. Because you brought up a great point. Blade will fight the crap out of you without anything. Yeah. According to the movies. We're going by movies. Okay. And then oh. Batman. He may run out of batarang, Batarangs or whatever. He'll run out of his... He, he'll still fight you. Yeah. Black Panther, I know it's pure strength, but he took they took away his power for that fight against Umbaku and also with Killmonger. And he's just he's I mean they've got yeah, a they, you. they have a specific type of Wakandan uh, martial arts that, you know, obviously right. they put together themselves. Um I didn't even think of bringing in any of the uh, Dora Milaje in this. Um, they 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 are very. That's more of that's more of the the spear. Uh, they're the 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 vibrating. Sure, spear. they're more. You know, yeah. I was gonna say they're more of a um. When cool. when it comes to hand to hand combat, they, I mean, you know they do saying? happen yeah. to have uh, a spear in their hands. They are extremely proficient at. Um, yeah. I love that move where they spin it around their necks. It's just that's just so cool. I think with that spin of them around their necks and that music, wah, 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 like the, the just the, mm-hmm. the it's so intense. The wah wahs. Fantastic. Wah, wah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So to list this. Here we go. How do you put, oh, you're trying to list it number one to number five? Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. This will be easy. <laughs> Ancient One, Captain America. Black wow, Panther. you put Captain America over Batman, huh? Well, yeah, because Captain America's strength would outdo Batman. We're talking about pure fighting, no shield, no, no um, utility belt. Just no pure cape. martial arts skill, though, man. Batman is. Now you're talking about the comic. I'm talking about just the movies. We're talking Michael Keaton no, I, I'm, versus I'm, Chris I, Evans. I, I'm now thinking of his training under Ra's al Ghul. Like, okay, Christian. What about Ben Affleck versus Chris Evans? Stop with now the Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> what you're forgetting about George Clooney? Hello. <laughs> oh gosh. And then uh, Val Adam Kilmer. West, and then Val Kilmer. Oh gosh, Val Kilmer would out talk Chris Evans. That's for sure. Jim Conway. <laughs> 
Jim Conway. Oh, Lord. Kevin Conroy, ladies and gentlemen, that's yes. the correct one. Jim Conway. Oh, what was mine the other day? Didn't I have a bad one the other day? Oh, oh man. Edward Norton Ed- was the end. Edward Norton was the uh, director of Godzilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I Chris even... Edwards. What's his name? I forgot his name now. Garrett Edwards? It's Garrett Edwards. I said, see, I said Chris Edwards. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's Garrett Edwards, to be honest. Yeah, it is. It's 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 Garrett. Jason Garrett. Jeez. Oh, God. Garrett Edwards. That's not... No, it's not. No, I didn't think it was. It's some weird name. Gareth. It's Gareth. Garrett. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not, it's not Garrett. Um, anyway, going okay. back. Five. All right. I'm putting in the ancient one, number one. Because, literally, you think Batman would take Blade? <sighs> you think Batman will take Black Panther? I'm sorry, Batman probably has to be number five, just because of the power that all three of them have. You have a vampire, a Wakandan with extra power from a purple flower, then you got Captain America serumed up, so... Yeah, Batman, I know he, he finds a way, but we're talking pure fighting and martial arts. Um, yeah, Batman's probably like, I don't know, Batman would probably find a way to beat you with their, with just the way he talks to you. You got to see, uh, see that here's here's my, my problem. If you're talking like Batman, like Batman as we know Batman, he knows like over a hundred different martial arts. Like he knows all of them. Um, that's my contestation in my this, that's what's going on in my brain right now is I'm like I'm trying to think like okay what all did he learn from Ra's al Ghul what all like you know they didn't really really show what all he learned you know like obviously his Keaton ability is Keaton training or whatever they really really didn't show um, Black Panther all right, if you're going pure martial arts, it's going to be Batman number two. Then Blade, then Black Panther, then Captain America. And here's why. Captain America, no. It's more of just, it's a little bit more brawling, but he understands. Oh, well, no, he fought Bat Rock, and the way he fought him was really good. Man, so Black, Black Panther and Captain America are kind of a tie just because of their power, if you're going by power. But Batman is pure, like... Like you said, he knows so much. And then Blade. I think Blade would take Black Panther. Man, but Blade versus Captain America? Oof. And see, that's the problem Oof. I have is like, you know, I think Blade would probably best Black Panther, but, you know, it's it's that weird, you know, one would beat the other one who would beat the other one who would beat the first one. It's this weird. It mean, doesn't have to be in order. I mean, it's your top five. Well, no, it has to be in order. <laughs> That's the point oh, of making a top five. <laughs> um, so Captain America will eventually understand what you're doing. Yeah. And that's... He, he recognizes patterns. Yeah. And that's so my... Batman knows so much, he would outdo him. Yeah. So he'd be number three, Captain America. 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 Yeah, I agree with America? you there. I agree with you there. Like, even though like Blade and Black Panther may be, well, I don't think they're even stronger than Captain America. Well, remember now, in Infinity War, they were running, <laughs> they were racing, and they were both running they both and jumped run- at them. As as Flash and Superman have shown, running does not equal you know more powerful in right. the non Schneider cut. Um, the Great Race. Uh, okay, ah, man, Black Panther over under Blade, huh? Captain I, okay. Wesley Snipes versus Chad Boseman. <laughs> God, that would that, 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 that would be a ridiculously good fight. Um, 
you throw away I think okay hmm you throw away the claws you throw away you throw the way suit what are you genius playboy <laughs> genius billionaire playboy philanthropist um I'd go blade. I'd go blade over Black Panther. If you're taking off the suit, no sword, blade. Here's why. It's because Black Panther's quick and everything. Blade is too. He's a freaking vampire. They're both high strength because he's a vampire and he has the, the purple flower uh, in him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'd say blade just because he would fight better, I think. I mean, Black Freaking Winter Soldier beat the crap out of Black Panther almost. So, <laughs> should Winter Soldier be on? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> who would beat who? Um, where's Iron Fist and all this? Um, oh, geez. If you're just That's joining dumb. us, <laughs> the reason Iron Fist is not on this list is because he was a horrible he's... Iron Fist. <laughs> There was no iron fist. It was plastic fist. <laughs> Jeez. That's... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Oh, my God. That's great. <laughs> oh, man. I think I hit every button I could just now for that one. That was awesome. <laughs> plastic <laughs> fist. <laughs> Yeah, um, seriously. Oh, I gotta get that one. I keep forgetting to carry that over. Uh, <laughs> okay, I can. I think I can live with this. Um, the ancient or Black Panther at five, Blade at four, Captain America at three, Batman at two, and the Ancient One at one. There you go. There's your five, ladies and gentlemen. Martial arts. Yep. The top five martial arts in all Marvel DC movies. We're also including Netflix properties. So that's why you're who's not your seeing five? Iron Fist. <laughs> yeah, who is your top five? We're interested to see. Comment below. Let us Let know. We know. will definitely respond to it. Um, that wasn't too long. That was nice and, um, you know, productive. <laughs> I always like these because it's like, you know, again, there's so many things you like. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, when it, if we come if it came down to it, like, honestly, like Spider-Man could beat all of these guys, maybe save the ancient one up here. But this is not, you know, the Spider-Man that I know from like, you know. The, the comic books. Um, these are the ones that we know from the movies that, you know, they're still kind of, even though, like, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies, due to the rebooting, they're all still pretty new at their craft. Um, and they haven't been endowed yet with the. Uh, Do you count Civil War? Okay, eight movies, sorry. Um, Do you count Infinity War? Infinity I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm counting their own, like, you know, his his title. Um, but, yeah. No, Maybe was, you only good. count Civil War just because he was introduced there. So, I mean, he was awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but, again, the, 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 spider sen- the, the spider sense is a game changer when it comes to... Um, his ability to dodge, you know, damn near everything and bullets. Um, it's not been to, at least in my opinion, been fully showcased. Um, even though it's done some ridiculous stuff since the MCU took it over. Um, there was some cool stuff from, um, the Tobey Maguire years. Um, and uh, Andrew, Gar- I mean, Andrew Garfield did, did decently as Spider-Man too. So, you know, Spider-Man's awesome. But yeah, no, that is again, our uh, top five 
martial artists from all Marvel DC movies combined to date. We're not including Shang-Chi because, you know, we haven't seen anything yet. So we've just seen a teaser. So anyway, that is our topic for the day. Now we are going on to the birthdays. There's quite many birthdays this week. A good amount of birthdays. Um, April 18th, we have Chloe Bennett. Quake? Yep. We have James Woods. (laughs) The dealership? (laughs) Yeah, the dealership. (laughs) No, he he is... Oh, the actual James Woods owner passed away? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. Well, this is not that guy. This is James Woods, um, yeah. the great actor. Um, he's in Vampires. He's been in... He's, he's got his own school named after him in Family Guy. Um, April 20... Every, April 19th, sorry. We have Tim Curry... Is that the dad of Steph Curry? No, that's not it. No. <laughs> um, no, that's uh, Pennywise, and he was the um, manager in oh. Home Alone 2. He was also in Clue. Have you seen Clue? I have not. Okay, that's a movie that that needs to be on your list to watch because it's Monday. so good. Um, James... I don't have a clue. <laughs> nice. James Franco... We had hey had a birthday Express. on April nineteenth. Uh, yes, he did. Pineapple Express. He's also Harry Osborn. In Spider Man. Yep. <laughs> uh, Kate Hudson had a birthday on the nineteenth. Forgot who that is. <laughs> Great. She right is Kurt Russell, and no, she's Goldie Hawn's daughter. Ah. Uh, she was in, uh, gosh, she's been, all, How to lose a guy she's in 10 been, days? yeah, she's been in a lot of those chick flick movies. Um, Fool's, Fool's Gold. Gold. Bride Wars. First movie Almost the famous. wife and I ever saw together. Um, and it's also on April 19th, the same day as the release of the Shang-Chi trailer, Simu Liu, his birthday. Who plays Shang Chi? A it, Canadian actor. Yeah. <laughs> April twentieth, four twenty, baby. Of course, it's George Takai. Oh my! Oh my! I was gonna get a drop for that, but I was like, I, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, I don't know how copyrighted that "Oh my" is, but it should be. Um, he was in Mulan. <laughs> he was in Mulan. He was in um, Big Bang Theory. Obviously, he was in this little series called Star Trek. Um, yeah, not that big of a deal, though. Nah, it's okay. Um, he was also in. He- gotta be away. He was also in oh, Heroes. Hey. Really? Mm-hmm. Was he the guy that sold the Versa to that dude? No. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Nissan Versa. Yeah, holy crap. Versa. Um, <laughs> and it was also Crispin Glover's birthday on 420. Danny Glover's brother. No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he was George McFly in Back Marty, to the Future. Marty! <laughs> You're my density. Was Wait. It? Darth <laughs> was it Darth Vader from the planet Vulcan came down and told me if I didn't ask Lorraine to the dance, he'd come down to Earth and blow my brains out. <laughs> he was also the bad guy. He was also the bad guy in Charlie's Angels. Yes, he was. Holy crap. Yep. Very good. Um in famous for Willard. Yep, Willard. The oh rat my gosh. Dude. Yes. Um Because he looks like a rat. Mm. April 21st. Did you know he wasn't, like, even in the second movie, really? 
they used a stunt double and they used like facial like you know um um effects or whatever like practical effects to make it look like him it wasn't him though because apparently like he wanted as much money as michael j fox i don't know it was was crazy when i found that out i was like oh my god seriously you're just (laughs) you're just the dad come on (laughs) anyway um april 21st tony danza i laugh at tony danza I laugh at Tony Danza. I laugh at Tony Danza. <laughs> oh my gosh. King of the Hill? Yep. You remember that? Oh one. yeah. And uh, Rob Riggle. Pow! <laughs> pow. Pow pow. Is he is he saying pow? Pow. No. <laughs> Rob Riggle's awesome. Like I haven't seen him in much recently. I think I he hosted he hosted the uh, NFL awards twice or once, I believe. He did a really good job. Yeah, like he's he, fun at the he does a lot of like the the Fox Sunday stuff yes, now. He does it every Sunday. Stuff. It used to be uh, Jimmy Kimmel a long time ago. Then it yeah. used to be uh, Frank Caliendo. Now it's him. Yep. So. Um, April twenty second, which is today, Jack Nicholson. Is, Way till I get a load of me. Is he the best Joker? Yes. Absolutely. Sorry, Heath Ledger. I respect you. R.I.P. Um, and uh, what's his name from uh, <laughs> 30 Seconds to Mars or My Chemical Romance? Jared Leto? Name? Yeah, there it is. Oh, I should get that laugh in there. Um, yeah, Easy Rider. He was in As Good as It Gets. He was in The Shining. The Shining. He was on the sideline for every Laker game. It seems like. Oh um, yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> anger management. Um, which was a great, great movie. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite movies. Um, oh my God, I'm losing it. Um, about Schmidt. No, not about Schmidt. The, the gangster movie with um oh gosh um oh i i hate you for saying that because i'm about to say it <laughs> the scorsese movie it won all uh, those awards gangster movie he's been in more than one gangster movie by the way the departed uh, departed there you go golly it's getting late in the it's getting late in the recording that's why and uh oh yeah as well as uh Another birthday on April 22nd, Amber Heard. I've never heard of her. <laughs> she goes see. by Mira. Oh, yeah. Dang, her last three movies was Aquaman, Justice League, and she's going to be in Aquaman 2 next year. Very cool. There you go. Looking forward to that. Will she keep the English accent? <laughs> she will do the she'll do the same thing as Scarlet Witch did. Just get oh, away. Oh, nice. April twenty third. Meet meet me me. Wait, no, that's a. <laughs> that's a. That's that's a. I did the uh, Price is Right the right theme song for a second there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but no, it's John Let's Cena's. It's John Cena's birthday <laughs> tomorrow, baby. He is in a lot of commercials these days. Let me tell you, he's doing Wipeout now. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to be in the new Fast and Furious movie, and he's going to be. Uh, I think he's going to be in Marvel. Oh, no, no, sorry, Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. I was going to say, like, no, he's not going to be in Marvel. Like. Please be in Marvel. I, I would love there. for him to be in Marvel, but he's not going to be. Um, and then finally on April 24th, Jimon Hunsu. I hope I pronounced that right. She, he is from Beauty Salon. What? Gladiator. <laughs> Beauty and Salon. Blood Diamond. Gosh. <laughs> with, with Queen Latifah. Yeah, Blood Diamond is an awesome movie. He was also in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Korath. 
<laughs> yeah. You can call me Star Lord. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> and that is our birthdays for this week. We had a lot of birthdays this week. Nice to see that Happy everyone can finally start celebrating their birthdays. But uh, yeah, that is um, so. That is the birthdays for this week. Um, that is our show for the day. Unless Josh, you got something for me? Oh, we got something for you, brother. Okay. Another edition of Who Said It? Bring it on. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to do martial arts edition of Who Said It and What Movie? Are you ready, brother? Oh, I'm ready. Ready, fight. Um, sh- uh, let's see Shao here. Khan. We're going to do... Son of a bitch. I know it's playing. Uh, I know Kung Fu. Oh, Who that is it? Um, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Welcome back. We missed you. Also or, known as... Actually, his name is Neo because he's awoken and that is his self-given name. What movie? Wait, what? Matrix? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ooh, Street Soul Fighter 2 is mine. Uh, that would be Shang Tsung in the first Mortal Kombat movie. From what year? What year? Yeah, let's oh, see if you know it. God. Um, <laughs> 1997? <laughs> 1995. Oh, wow. Gosh. That is correct. No, I'm just kidding. No, it is 1995. You're right. All right, wow. here we go. You break my record. Now I break you. Like I break your friend. Martial arts edition of who said it? I'm gonna say it again. You break my record. Now I break you. Like I break your friend. Who said it? And Mr. Miyagi? Ding. One more try. You break my record. You break my record. Now I break you. Like I break your friend. Is this your Asian accent? <laughs> uh, guy, I got nothing. It was Chong Lee, also known as Bolo Young in Bloodsport. Oh, gosh. Man, okay. This is after he beats the crap out of Randy Jackson. Yes, that is his name. <laughs> Randy Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Randy Watson? Wait a minute. Uh, yes, and then uh, Van Damme's looking at him. like Because Van Damme beat somebody in a time in a timely manner. Yeah. Beating golly, his record. Golly, that's... In, in, in what fight? The Kumite. The Kumite, yeah. Yep. Kumite. <laughs> Fantastic movie. Yeah. God, I forgot about Bloodsport. I gotta rewatch that. Yeah, it's definitely a must. You should see it with all the whole family. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's, it's a family section movie, isn't it? It's a family movie. Uh, those are five hundred dollar <laughs> glass sunglasses, asshole. Who said it? I'll repeat it because I'm kind of messed up. Those are five hundred dollar sunglasses, asshole. Uh, that is Johnny Cage. You know what movie? <laughs> From Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right. Boards don't hit back. Who said it? Boards don't hit back. I'm going to guess him again. Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> no, it was Bruce Lee, also known as Lee, in Enter the Dragon. Oh, my God. Ooh. I'm Joseph's going to hurt me for that. Golly. Oh boy. Birds don't make we that. make sacred pact. I promise teach karate to you. You promise, Leonard? I say you do. No questions. Who said it? <laughs> I don't want to keep guessing the same guy. <laughs> we make sacred pact. I promise teach karate to you. You promise, Leonard. I say you do. No questions. 
That sounds like Jackie Chan's Mr. Miyagi. Uh, go. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Mr. Miyagi talking to Danielson. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. Where's your accent? <laughs> Remember, and, and just to clarify, Karate Kid in 2010 with Jaden Smith is not a karate movie. It's a kung fu movie with the name Karate Kid. Yeah, no, I know that. Because it's in China. Yeah. And it's kung fu. Karate from Japan, mostly. Anyway, uh, moving along. This is where you fall down. You Who said it? <laughs> it's Johnny Cage again. <laughs> Johnny Cage. Score. Good job. We got the easy ones. Oh God, those are the easy ones. <laughs> no, no, those. Uh, that's one of the easy ones. I am Hula. I am nobody's bitch. You are mine. Who said it? What was the first line? I am Hula. You know who's? So you know his name is Hula, right? I am Hula. I am nobody's bitch. You are oh my mine. God, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't Wild know. Wild guess of the actor, because I gave you the name. Martial arts. Come on. I'll say it again, because I want to do it again. Uh, I am Eula. I am nobody's bitch. You are mine. Uh, I, I'm having an off night. I don't know. Jet Lee from 2001's The One. Oh, gosh. I think I've seen that one time. And it's a great movie. I've seen it way more than one time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, arts is a little different. Honestly, I was like, yeah. I haven't heard a Jet Lee quote yet. And like, that was actually like the one person I was thinking. I was like, no. Because, I, I again, I've only seen The One one time. So... I should right. I should have guessed okay. that. Dang it. It's all good. It's all good. Make sure I did that one. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Which one do I want to do? If you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, you become something else entirely. Oh, my damn it. Make yourself... Quote sounds familiar. You just yes. can't pinpoint it. I'm gonna say it one more time in the best way I can. <laughs> if you make yourself if you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an idea, you become something else entirely. Who said it? Is it David Carradine? It is Ramos Al Ghul, Liam Neeson, Batman oh, Begins. Oh god. I was starting to think like um, Kill Bill stuff. You yeah, had, you had I can the, see that. You had that. you had a little bit of the Kill Bill. Uh, I can't Carradine do Liam voice. Neeson. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> I know, like you need to go a little more Irish there, buddy. <laughs> and I can duck. <laughs> anyway. Oh gosh. <laughs> Phantom Menace. All right, here we go. This is a this is a fairly long line slash quote, but I think you may get this one. Hopefully, I'm in a hostile environment. I'm totally unprepared. I'm surrounded by a bunch of guys who probably want to kick my ass. It's like being back in high school. Who said it? Why do you keep bringing back Johnny Cage? Because <laughs> it's so. I love his lines. Good job, you got it. <laughs> I was like, I know his. Like, it's so stupid. Like, I don't know Jet Li's. I don't know um, Liam Neeson's, but I know Johnny Cage's lines left and right. All right, last one. Here we go. Can you get it? Um, if you don't get this, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to give it away by saying what I, I have feel. failed. Um, here we go. Here's the line. Here's the line. Ready? Live or die, man. Who said it? Uh, that would be Daniel Sun in Karate From Kid movie. Two. Oh man, I was about to say if you didn't get that one, man, you should never watch that movie ever again. Good job, you got it. <laughs> Bam, Yahtzee. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you missed a lot of them. I think you got like sixty percent, maybe. Yeah, that was 
Boy, that, that was, was um, that was not my best uh, showing by far. I've got to catch up on my. I mean, as I was showing you the other night, I'm catching up on my martial arts movies, uh, watching a little bit of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I um, couldn't quote anything from that because everything's in a different language. So. Yeah, no, I know. Like you have to speak in Mandarin. Um, or Cantonese, I forget which language that is. Um, Ancient Chinese secret, eh? <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, man, that that was really good. I, I really, really wish I had. Uh... I went all over the place. I went to Johnny Cage a lot, though. <laughs> yeah. No, you. I was like, I was like, that's another Johnny Cage one. <laughs> Boy, you know those you are, got those me. Are great lines, right? If you got me like a Johnny Cage line from like Annihilation. I have no remembrance of. Uh, by any the way, of that he movie. dies in the beginning. Oh so yeah, no, no, there. it's like immediately, like he immediately gets taken out. I mean, all he's... he says is, "I'll take Sonya's place," and he freaking dies. Oh really? That's his only line. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, and it's a different actor, by the way, too. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it is. I thought it was the same yeah. one. Nope. Nope. No. It's a totally different dude. They just combed his hair the right way. <laughs> and then Sonya's. <laughs> And wore the, wore the right the right shirt, I guess the same blue shirt he wore in the the second the the first movie. Oh my! Um, what was I going to tell oh you? Oh my god, what it is. Yeah, it's a different. And then Sonya's a different person too. And combed, so is Raiden. He just combed his hair the right way. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Wow, Cyrax is in that movie. Baraka, Smoke, Sub Zero. Who's Night the red guy? Night the Wolf. red suit looking? Sector. 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 And then you got Shiva, the four, four-armed Goros sister cousin thing. Yeah. Sindel. Okay. We're, we're, we're talking way too much about that movie. Annihilation. <laughs> that movie should be annihilated. The man... That was our sixth episode of the movie review. We didn't do a review today, but uh, we gave you guys our top five martial artists from Marvel and DC properties. Um, the movies, not like, you know, cartoons and comics and stuff. Um, next week or next show or next uh, next one of these things. I don't know. <laughs> We're we're running. Next time on we are running near Dragon the end. Ball Z. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next time on movie review, we are going to have either the Mortal Kombat review or Falcon Winter Soldier Part Two, because we did Part One. You should go check out our Part One video and our Part One Part podcast. Um, we did episodes one through three. Now we're going to do four, five, six. Um, Man, it's going to be crazy. Give a little review of that. Um, I'm looking forward. God, there's like, okay, so tomorrow, again, we're recording this on Thursday, um, April 22nd. It's literally 45. It's literally 45 minutes before Mortal Kombat gets uploaded to HBO Max. I'm literally trying to decide if I want to stay up and watch that thing. I know Choose I, your destiny. I, I know I probably won't just because I'm like, I'm already tired and I've got some work I got to take care of tomorrow early. Um, got to take homeboy to school and stuff like that. So but, uh, great show, man. I thought, I thought today's was really, really awesome. Our, our first of many top five, you know, who knows first if we do a many. bottom, bottom five, segments um i vote to the next top five would be the top five arnold movies okay i mean sure whenever that comes up i mean we got a huge we have a tremendously Pipeline. busy schedule uh that we got coming up uh um gosh i think the next open slot <laughs> slot the next open slot actually well mid-may um, May seventeenth, we really don't have anything. So we had Aquaman. Hmm. Yeah, we could do it then too. You know, it is what it is. But uh, you know, that's for next time. 
we're talking right now. And for right now, uh, we've come to the end of our show. Um, Josh, you got anything to say to the folks before we go? This is where you follow. This is where you follow. I love that. <laughs> very, 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 very kung fu. Very, very martial artist. Very awesome. For my brother, Josh Shizzle, 2323, the Joshua Nader. I am Charlie at Charizard 81, and this is the movie review. Go pop some popcorn and watch a movie. <laughs>